normally this would be uh, pretty straightforward. A lot of people don't have health insurance. A lot of people realize they should get health insurance. Uh, but let's face it, it's been a little political, this whole uh, Obamacare thing. And so uh, what, what you've had is, is an unprecedented effort that you've seen ramp up over the last month or so in which those who have opposed the idea of universal health care in the first place and have fought this thing tooth and nail through Congress and through the courts and so forth uh, are, have been trying to scare and discourage people from getting a good deal. And some of you may have seen some of the commercials out there that are a little wacky. Um, and the main message we have, and we're using social media, we're talking to churches, we're talking to uh, you know, various uh, civic groups, and, and what we're saying to people is, look, just go to the website yourself. Go to you know, uh, healthcare.gov, take a look at whether this is a good deal or not, make your own decision about whether this is good for you. Because what we are confident about is that when people look and see that they can get high quality, affordable health care for less than their cell phone bill, they're going to sign up. They are going to sign up. And part of what I think the resistance that we've seen ramp up, particularly over the last couple of months, is all about is the opponents of health care reform know they're going to sign up. In fact, one of the major opponents, when asked, well, why is it that you'd potentially shut down the government at this point just to block Obamacare, he basically fessed up. He said, well, once you know, consumers get hooked on having health insurance and uh, subsidies, then uh, they won't want to give it up. Now that's, you, you can look at the transcript. There's one of the major opponents uh, of health care reform. It is an odd logic. Essentially, they're saying people will like this thing too much and then it will be really hard to, hard to roll back. So uh, it is very important uh, that people just know what's out there, what's available to them, and let people make up their own minds uh, as to whether it makes sense or not. Now, one last thing I want to say, because I, I do think sometimes people come up to me and, and they say, well, if this is such a good deal, uh, how come the polls show that it's not popular? Well, one of the things you and I both know is that when you come to health care, there's no more personal and intimate decision for people. I mean, this is something that people really care about. And frankly, uh, the devil you know is always the better, the, the better than the devil you don't know. And, and that's what Harry and Louise was all about uh, back, uh, back in the 90s, right? It was scaring people with the prospect of change. And so part of our goal here is just to make sure people have good information. And, and there's been billions of dollars spent making people scared and worried about this stuff. Uh, and rather than try to uh, disabuse people of every single uh, bit of misinformation that's been out there, what we're saying is just look for yourself. Take a look at it, and you will discover that this is a good deal for you.